Hello family. So today I'm coming to you from Cafe Voltaire. Now we've been here before for an expat meetup. I've got some of that footage that I'm going to show you in this video, but this is another visit. So I will interperse those uh, footages together so that you can see them. Um, but it's a lovely cafe that's down in Centro. It's got some indoor seating. It's got some outdoor seating. Today, the weather is gorgeous, although there is an impending hurricane on the way that I think shouldn't impact us that much. But if you are in Florida and Georgia, we're looking out for you. Hopefully that weather passes by and doesn't come your way. But take a look at Cafe Voltaire. So here's a quick little tour of the courtyard area. And it's gorgeous out here. My camera is not nearly going to do this justice, but it's just four walls of utter greenery. And I'll give you a pan up so you can see exactly high, how high these walls are. So they go all the way up. And I don't know at this point of my filming how old this building is, but it gives like such a charm of like it was here forever and that they've repurposed it as this cafe slash sales area because there's like a little gallery of artistic wares in here things made by artisans like woven hats and pottery see if you can see all that i'm not inside right now but even the store itself has got that beautiful pasta tile that is uh, common throughout Merida. And here, what's very, very nifty is they've actually got some bee boxes. Can you see this? They've got three bee boxes set up on the wall. And then they've got some actual information on the life cycle of bees, the bees that are native to this area and a bit on how many species of bees there actually are in the world. So there is an organization here, mielnativa.com. And if you visit that website, they'll tell you more about the bee species that are here and also located throughout the world. Here's more of the gallery. And you can see some of those lovely artisanal goods. And again, like I said, we visited here before, but this is a fresh new visit. Again, you know, we stumble bumble onto different places and we had intended to go to another cafe. We we're always intending to go somewhere else. And once we arrived, it was closed, but that's not a problem for us because we like to wander. And so we wandered here to Cafe Voltaire. And it could possibly be one of my favorite places I just don't get here that often because we don't live in Centro proper. Um, some of our earlier Airbnbs, we were in Centro, but now, as you know, if you follow me at all, I'm in Yucapaitan, where I'm very happy. Hola, buenas tardes. Well, I'm very happy, but um, I get down to Centro to see some of the cafes and things like that here. So, I'm not sure if you can see this. Yeah, and this is the outside view if you were coming to pay a visit to Cafe Voltaire. Pardon, I'm so sorry, pardon me. All right, as you can see, I'm getting into people's way. Sickening, worrisome YouTubers, you know how we are, always in the way. But see, I mean, it's so glorious, it's so beautiful. Just the walls, everything. It's like being in a living cafe. For my Savannah viewers, this to me is very reminiscent of Foxy Loxy of the courtyard area. Like it, but not. YouTube, 
We're coming to you live from Cafe Volta. We were here for a newcomers meetup in Merida, and we're going to give you some footage on what Cafe Volta looks like and a little bit of footage of who was here. So, as usual, please enjoy. Oh, yeah, and I had already given her that, so she had already had that. But no, she um, took the. Um, Mario took my money for her yesterday. So he's going to take mine and Sonny and some other people's money. Yeah, so, so far from what I'm saying, that everybody's going to continue to pay her because when you have good help, you don't want to lose good help. I mean, she has keys to my house. You know, like, to have somebody who you trust to have keys to your house is a big deal. And my yummy meal has arrived. We're still waiting on Bella's. Bella just ordered the guacamole and entrada. She kind of wanted breakfast food, but um, they're not serving breakfast food right now. It is lunchtime. And I, as you can see, for those of you that know, I'm still failed vegan because I'm eating meat today because they said this was brisket and that the brisket has been baked for 10 hours or roasted for 10 hours. And that's pretty exciting. Um, my mother used to do uh, Boston butts and it used to be pretty delicious. So I'm kind of excited for this. And fries and a salad and I have a mimosa to drink. No, no, that's wrong. It's a bimosa because it's made with uh, the local honey. And then Bella has a cold matcha latte. So we shall enjoy, I'm sure, I have no doubt. Bella's meal has arrived. She's gotten this wonderful guacamole and chips that look freshly made. So I'm sure she will enjoy that. Lots of vegetarian protein. All right. Right through here? Is it this one? Not the bookstore, that one. Yeah, go inside here and to the right and then and then make another right. All the way by where our table was. This in this door here. Oh okay. yeah, second door. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. That's not it? Uh, okay, well she's fine. Oh, okay. All right, guys, so we are leaving Cafe Volta now. Let me let you see a little bit here. And we're just gonna walk a little bit and we'll let you see what we see. It's more than a bookstore. So we are in Central, walking through Central. Leaving our meetup, we were meeting uh, with K 
Kelly McRae. She does a um, monthly now meetup for newcomers to Merida. So we can kind of meet and greet and get to know a few people. And so we're just leaving that now. We finished eating our lunch at Cafe Volta or Voltaire Cafe. We did go inside the little shop that's attached. And actually, the person that was running the shop, um, she is, I can't remember what type of scientist she said she was. I didn't hear if she said she was a botanist or um, if she was an entomologist, but one of the two. In any case, she gave us a little bit of information about the bees that are local to Medida um, because as I was looking at the bee houses on the outside of the building, I noticed that the bees were teeny, 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 tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny, and she came out and she was actually feeding them, and I had never seen bees that small, so I started asking her questions, and she invited us into the shop so she could give us some details about the bees, and so anyway, of course, we shopped around inside. Side. Um, she gave us a full tour and told us about the type of honey that these bees make, how often they make the honey, and it was very interesting. Had I thought about it, I could have recorded that for y'all, but obviously I did not. However, I did purchase a few items that are made with uh, bee products there. And if you purchase items at that shop, it goes to not only subsidize the shop, but subsidize the work that they do to care for these bees, which are endangered, and also to work with the farmers um, that have land where the bees are thriving. So it's a, it's a good place to spend your money. Um, there's other artisans that show their work there, and some of them are women um, that are in um, dire circumstances, and this is a way to support themselves. So if you're going to be spending money about Merida, check out that shop at Voltaire, because again, they've got a good purpose. So you're spending your money not just willy-nilly, but with a good purpose behind it. So anyway, what I got, I got this uh, bee pollen candle here adorable. I obviously haven't burned it yet and the only reason I haven't burned it is for you guys so you could see it um, after filming this video I'm probably gonna light this thing up. Uh, this was uh, 100 pesos. Um, I also got a bit of uh, bee pollen and this is supposed to be um, medicinal she said um, that it helps with things like um, skin issues, inflammation, and a few other things that I don't recall right now. So Google <laughs> it or come take the tour if you're in Medida and she will tell you. But I got that. It's got an interesting flavor. The flavor, it, it reminds me of something, but I can't remember what it reminds me of, so I can't tell you. Uh, but she recommends you put it in water and then just shoot it. What I've been doing, it, I, I've been adding it to my coffee, adding it to my tea, and just, you know, uh, stirring it up and drinking it, but it's not bad. It's it, She said it's an interesting taste, which I took to mean bad, but then I tasted it and I was like, oh yes, it is interesting, but also it tastes familiar, tastes familiar. And then I got this um, honey and rice soap bar that's supposed to be good for skin conditions, um, uh, hyperpigmentation, acne, things of that nature. Um, so I'm always looking for something to deal with hyperpigmentation to keep my skin lovely. So I got that. Um, don't remember how many pesos I paid for this, really, to be honest. I don't remember how many pesos I paid for the soap. Oh, no, I think it was 85 pesos for the soap. And if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, the pollen, I believe the bee pollen was 100 pesos as well. So that's what's available inside the shop that's attached to uh, Cafe Volta slash uh, Cafe Voltaire, whichever one you choose to call it. Um, 
lovely shop lovely shop has good energy um you can feel like the love of the artisans um in the work when you see it there and there's pottery inside there's some um accessories like necklaces and bracelets and things of that nature um there were some clothing items and of course there were all the honey items edible honey items and also uh, topical honey items like skin creams and soaps and things of that nature